Okay, so this is part two of our tutorial on uh, how to make a uh, palm tree. And uh, we already have our leaflet. So this is where we ended off. We made our material and then our leaflet. So let's see how we can connect them to a stock uh, like this. And uh, yeah, so and depending on the species or type of palm tree you're making, uh, this, this stock might be small or big. Uh, yeah, so you, you, you can check out different reference images uh, to see uh, the kind you're trying to make. Uh, let me get another get another one here just to show you. So you can see there is this here. And I think we're going to we're going for this kind of uh, leaf here. So let's add a plane and I try to model this uh, leaf here. Let's scale this down, all this stock. And so this is going to be a bit lengthy, so maybe something like that. Scale uh, the top part and uh, add a few loops in here. Select a loop around there, turn on proportional editing, and then scale it. Maybe just first scale this down and then scale. Uh, select this. extrude so this bottom part as you can see becomes really big so something like this <coughs> and uh, you can extrude it down and uh, so the top side is a bit flat uh, but uh, the bottom side is rounded so let me apply rotation and scale select these two, bevel them. Let me also shift N to recalculate normals. You know what? Instead of doing that, I'll just slide them. So <coughs> maybe add a middle loop like that. So select that and then so we have something like that you can also select this loop <coughs> and again in the same way uh there's it's more that it makes a curve like this so let's do that turn on proportional editing and then scale the Z axis and uh, I think this middle part here also drops in a bit so we can do that for it too so it's going to depend on you how detailed you want to be with this but uh, I think for the case of the tutorial uh, this is going to be that detailed Okay, so it's time to start adding in these leaflets. So I'll just duplicate one here so that I ha always have a copy, an original copy in case uh, we, we mess up this one. And uh, also back up uh, the blend file. So now we can start rearranging arranging these leaflets. Uh, to make this simple, I'll also move uh, the 3D cursor, let me first clear rotation, uh, to the end of the leaf, like that, in here, rotate, scale this down. I'll start with one side and then mirror the other side, so again, shift D, rotate something like that. 
and uh, you can see these are going to be really flat. Uh, I think we, we can use the lattice to bend them uh, down like that, like in the same way these are, are bent. So I'll just continue duplicating these a few times. Maybe select a few. Let's make sure to scale them a bit to get that shape that you see there. So the middle ones are always a bit longer than the ones at the top or at the bottom. So I'll select a few like this, shifty, rotate. They don't always have to start from the stock uh, because uh, the camera won't be seeing that that far unless you're going to render close-ups. Uh, so then you will have to be more detailed <coughs> from the in the materials and uh, everything else. So, but uh, we're not going to be making close-ups. Uh, this I'm going to be using these in my HVs uh, tutorials or when I'm making HVs assets. So you can see that uh, this is coming together now. S I don't worry when they intersect like that uh, because we'll come back and uh, fix that later. So a few like that. So you can even select these here, Shift D, maybe mirror them. Hmm. They're not mirror, let's see, my pivot point, medium. Mir not mirror them, but uh, they're not mirroring correctly, so I'll just do it manually. Again, let's see if our proportional editing works here. So yeah, I think it does. Yeah, so it can really help turn it off for a second, shift D, and uh, we have uh, that done. So if we go to shading right now, you can see this is what we we have. Uh, the problem is that uh, it's, it's just a flat surface. Let's try giving this the same material. I don't think it works. So this was called leaves. I think it, it is okay for now. Maybe let's UV unwrap it. Control E, Maxim. Yeah. I think that's okay. And now uh, we can come back to layout. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to bend these uh, so that uh, they are falling down uh, like you see in here.